Hey, how's it going everyone? Michael back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a team, a new team in Microsoft Teams. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I make uh, videos on Power Automate, uh, Microsoft SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, Forms, and eventually I'll get into Power Apps and Power BI. But for this video, let's get into it. So in your Microsoft Teams application, you wanna navigate down to Teams. And if you see this option down here below my camera, Join or create teams. If you see this option, you'll be able to create a new team. If you don't see it, your organization might have it blocked where members, I mean, users can't create a new team. So if you see it, you're good to go. If not, you probably have to contact someone IT to create a team for you, unfortunately. But um, if you're able to see it, let's get into it. All right, so you can join a team with a code. Um, sometimes people will give you a code to join a team. Most time they'll just invite you to the team, but sometimes you'll get a code. And this other option, create a team. All right, we have a few different options here. We create a team from scratch, which is most likely the case from a group or a team. If you wanna select this option, you can create a new team you already own. Um, you're probably not gonna go down that route, but if you want to, the option's always there. And then there's also templates Microsoft does provide. So let's say I want to manage a store. It will give you a new, it pretty much gives you the description a bunch of template channels and a few apps that you might use or might not it's up to you but if you see something down here that you might be interested in so let's say we have a hospital right here it provides six channels right here and eight apps and if you don't like any of it if you like like six i mean like four of the channels and like two of the apps you can go ahead and create it and then remove all the apps remove the channels you don't need but for now i'm just going to go create from scratch so we have a few different options. A private team, you'll have to invite the members. Public team, anyone in your organization can join the team. And org wide, uh, that's a teams. If you wanna have like an organization wide team, you're probably not gonna select this option. I, there's a very few cases of what you want. Everyone organization, unless you have a smaller organization, then it might be okay. But you're probably gonna go with the private team. So let's say I need a new team for the Halloween committee. Hopefully I smelled committee, right? uh planning for the company halloween party and so we have a new team name description let's go ahead and press create microsoft will create the new team all right so if you know how many member what members you want to add off the bat you can go ahead and add them if you don't uh, you can go ahead and skip all right so on the default you get a general channel this is pretty much for communication among the team members, or it depends on what you wanna do. You can lock down the general channel so only owners can type, and then maybe make another channel for discussion, but completely up to you. It will give you the file directory under the SharePoint. It might take a few seconds to load because it's still creating the SharePoint in the back end. So I'll just go back, and then you also have a wiki tab as well if you wanna use that. But right now, we'll go into the options. So. Also, a neat little trick, if you hold on to the, if you click on one of the team names, you're able to drag it. I like to keep mine in um, alphabetical order, so that's how I will do it. So, let's get into the options. If you click on the triple dot, let's say it's not really Halloween anymore and the community only meets once a year. Uh, you can actually hide this team. So, if you, you're on a, like a ton of teams and you don't want to see them all, you can hide a few different teams and it'll put them in the hidden teams tab. Um, that's a good way to organize some of your teams that you might not be as active on. All right, so a few different options. You can manage this team. You can add a channel, add members, leave the team, edit team, get links to the team, manage tags, or you can finally delete the team. Let's go into manage team right here. So uh, the first screen, it will show you the owners and members of your team. Right now, I don't have any members with the team. I will go ahead and add a few members. Let me try and remember the names. Bob Green we will add as a member. And once you add them, you can switch them from a member to an owner. I'll switch them Bob Green to a member for now, actually. So click on close. So Bob Green is now able to see this team in his Microsoft Teams application. It might take like a minute or two, but it will show up eventually. And that's pretty much all for this screen. 
So if you go to the pending request, um, if someone trying to pending join the team, you might see requests coming in here. I, I don't see it too often, but it could happen. So channels. So right now we only have the one general channel. If you want to add new channels, let's say I want to add a channel for discussion. And this is for chats. And you, for privacy, you have two options, standard or private. Private, you have to be invited to the t channel. So anyone that joins Halloween committee won't be able to see the private channel unless you manually go in and add them. So we'll keep this on standard for now and I want this channel to show on everyone's channel list. We'll press add and now it will create a new discussion channel that's separate from the other one. Let's go to manage teams. Um, go into settings, team picture, you can change the picture right here. So if you don't like the default HC for Halloween committee, you can go ahead and change that. Member permissions. So this is pretty much up to these owners. If you want allow members to create and update channels, it, you probably shouldn't have this option on unless you have a very small team because some members will, if they don't really know what they're doing in teams, they might add a bunch of channels and it get really confusing for the other members. So if you want to check mark these off, only the owners of the team would be able to create new channels, um, delete and restore channels, allow members to add or remove apps. That's up to you. I'd, I'd likely remove it because I think the owner should be in complete control of the team. So the members really shouldn't have any uh, any options to be able to do any of the stuff. So allow members to add custom apps. Probably not. Allow members to create, update, and remove tabs. Again, probably not. Allow members to create, update, remove connectors. Give members option to delete their messages. Uh, that's up to you. I think I think it's no harm done. But um, if you have a very malicious team, who knows? <laughs> Give members options to edit their messages. Uh, you probably want to leave that on because people make spelling mistakes. I know I know it's up to, with me at least. I, I'm always making spelling mistakes and you'll see like edited by me. Guest permissions. Uh, yeah, you probably don't want to have guests create and update channels or guests or delete channels. And mentions. So this is a good thing to have. They can add members be able to add the team or add everyone in the channel. Pretty much just read through this, and if you think it's a good option for the team, you can go ahead and select it. Team code. So if you want to send code for users to be able to join the team, uh, you can copy this code, and then they go into join or create a team. Right here, join a team with a code, and go ahead and join that team. What else we got? Uh, fun stuff. You probably want to leave this enabled. It helps build connections with your team with memes and gifs and stickers and memes. It's all fun, fun stuff. No um, harm is usually done with that. And tags, I'll get into tags in another video. Analytics, just some analytics for the team. Uh, if you wanna look at that, you can feel free. For apps, uh, Microsoft will have a few applications on default. So you can probably just leave these. If you wanna add more apps, you can go ahead and add more. I'm not gonna get into that in this video because there's a ton of apps you can use for the team. But yeah, if you wanna add channels, add members, leave team, edit team, edit the team, you can actually change the team name here. So it wasn't in the other option I showed. So Halloween committee, let's say, every year I update this to the, for the current year. And there we go. Let's just say pretty brief overview for teams. Just make sure there's nothing else I want to go over, if you want to turn on all activity for this channel, you go ahead and click on this triple dot over here, uh, all activity. So I'll be notified of all the activity in the channel. And yeah, that's about it. Anyone can post messages. So in the general channel, if you don't only want the owners to post messages, you can go ahead and click on this. But um, that's up to you. So yeah, that'll be a video for today. A quick little overview for creating a new team in Microsoft Teams. I find it's very helpful and hopefully you guys find it helpful as well. So if you like the video, go ahead and sub subscribe, like, comment. Any video ideas, leave them in the comments and I will catch you in the next one.